fearless thing to do this first. A daily personal development podcast that focuses on science-backed, actionable steps towards your best year ever. Hi, I'm Sandy, your host. It is, oh my gosh, 50 days away (laughs) till the end of 2024. It's just barreling through now. It really is. My goodness. Well, as promised yesterday, today we're going to continue with our Finish Strong micro series. And one of the ways we can finish strong is by building up our brands, our businesses. And I did share that I would be talking about content strategies. And there's one little known yet highly effective content strategy that I don't see a lot of people using, but it is foolproof. And I'm talking about content repurposing. This strategy involves taking existing content and reformatting or remixing it into different forms to reach different audiences and maximize its impact. In entertainment, Taylor Swift does it all the time with her music. She releases new versions of the same song and it works. The same idea works for any content, really. Here's how you can implement it effectively. Number one, identify high performing content. Analyze your existing content, your blog posts, your videos, your podcasts, your tweets, whatever it might be. Find the pieces that have performed well in terms of engagement, shares, or conversions. Look at the data, the data, the analytics. All of your decisions should be informed by the analytics. Almost every platform has the information, especially across social media and your website. Now what you want to see is what these pieces have in common. Look at your top performing content and try to look for the pattern. It could be that they're on a similar topic. Maybe it strikes a nerve, or are they all part of a trending popular topic at the time, like a holiday, a death, or a news piece? Once you figure out how the content is related, tag it, put a name on it. Don't forget to do the same with the content from your rivals as well. Go through the entire process and see if if there's any overlap with your content themes and your competitors' content themes. Regardless, you'll start to see your competitors' recurring narratives as well. Compare your competitors' topics with yours. See what is yielding results for you that your competitors are not doing and run with it. Make sure to continue monitoring as a successful content strategy is one that is fresh and relevant. I know we're talking about repurposing old content right now, but you can also use the information to create fresh new content. Number two, choose new formats. So if the highest performing content that you have is part of a blog, transfer that to video. You know, you can turn a popular blog post into an engaging video, use visuals, animations, or even a voiceover to communicate the key points. You can also use infographics, extract the key insights from a podcast episode, and create an infographic summarizing the main ideas, or like cheat sheet as well that lists all the finer points. You can do a webinar to blog series. So if you've conducted a webinar, Break it down into a series of blog posts focusing on different sections of the presentation. Social media posts, you can create bite-sized social media posts from long-form content, sharing quotes, statistics, and even tips based on your most popular content. Number three, tailor content for each platform. Adjust the tone, the style, and format based on where you're sharing the information. For example, a casual tone works well on social media, while a more professional approach is suited for LinkedIn. Number four, update and expand. Refresh older content with updated information, new insights, or additional resources to keep it relevant before repurposing it. Number five, Promote it. (laughs) Once repurposed, promote your new content where your audience is so that they see it. 
additional channels are good to add for SEO purposes as Google will pick up from social media platforms across the web. Number six, monitor and optimize. Track the performance of your repurposed content and gather insights to improve future repurposing efforts. The benefits of content repurposing encompass a lot of different areas. Mostly, you maximize your reach by presenting content in different formats. You engage a wider audience. It also saves you time. Creating new content from existing resources is often quicker and more efficient than crafting something from scratch. It also can enhance your SEO, your search engine optimization. More content means more potential backlinks and improves search engine visibility. Implementing a content repurposing strategy can significantly enhance your content marketing efforts and drive engagement and also improve your overall content. The return on investment without the need for constant new creation is amazing. Another impactful and easily implementable content strategy is content clusters, pillar pages. This strategy involves creating organized content hubs around specific topics or themes, helping to boost your site's SEO and providing a structured approach to content creation. You can do a series on a topic and can be centered around a new release, a new service or product or something you know your audience is interested in. Start by identifying the main topics relevant to your audience and industry. These should be broad themes that are central to your business, to your brand. Develop a comprehensive long form piece of content focused on one of those core topics. Again, you can focus on a new product or service as well. This page should provide a high level overview and serve as a central resource for that topic. Then you can develop supporting content. Create smaller linked articles, cluster content they call it, that explores specific subtopics related to the main topic in greater detail. For example, I blog about music and I created a main page on a subgenre dating back to the late 1940s and early 1950s because I love old music. I then created a 12 part series consisting of blog posts and videos that unpack the evolution of the music throughout time. I have passion for it, so I loved doing it. You could do something similar with almost anything. If you're an author, you can write a long form blog post on the book that you want to promote. Then you can write a series of shorter posts that zero in on your journey writing it or on the elements in the book. You can even do a series on one of the characters. See what I mean? If you're a recording artist, you can do the same with a release that you're trying to promote. Start with a long form video or blog post talking about the song and how and why you wrote it, the musicians involved, the studio, the city, where to find it. You can then create a series of content supporting the release like a video, a written song lyrics, a lyric video, reaction videos, different song versions as we stated earlier like the Taylor Swift does, remixes, an acoustic version, an a cappella snippet, a Q&A session about the song, a podcast interviews. You can get it translated into different languages and have fans or influencers post their videos singing it in different languages. See, we really start thinking there's so much that you can do. Number four, don't forget to interlink your content. All the adjacent content, the cluster content, should always link back to your main, your primary long form anchor post. This enhances user navigation and helps search engine understand the relationship between your content pieces, improving SEO. Pro marketers say content is king and they're correct, but it's not just any content. It's the right content at the right time delivered to the right audience. It is hard work, but anything worth having is. If you like what you're hearing, don't forget to leave a review. You can also read a full transcript of this podcast episode and all of my podcast episodes on my blog, do this first.life. And while you're there, you can sign up for my weekly newsletter where I share emerging research on the neurosciences, brain health, and personal and professional development. I also have 
Like I also have like a dozen other newsletters that are specific to different topics and you'll have the opportunity to sign up for those as well. And while you're there, you can listen to all of my podcast episodes. You can also listen to some of my podcast episodes on YouTube. And my handle there is at do this first. Tomorrow we'll continue with our micro series, Finish Strong, and I'll be turning my lens onto search engine optimization. Till tomorrow.